for many people, going uh, a few minutes without their uh, smartphone uh, can result in an apoplectic fit, right? Great word choice. That's a seizure for you laymen out there. Now, no one expects it's uh, saying that people are becoming so dependent on technology that they may just one day outright merge into the technology. Imagine that. Here's Trinity Chavez. For many people, going a few minutes without their smartphone can feel like a lifetime. But one expert says that humans are becoming so dependent on technology that we are actually merging into it. And it could happen sooner than we think. It sounds like a scene out of a sci-fi movie. Sorry. Help me find out what is wrong with these robots. Humans merging with machines. Murder is a new trick for a robot. Respond. But according to Professor Yuval Harari, a historian at the Hebrew University in Jerusalem, it's becoming more and more difficult to tell where humans end and machines begin, especially given how much big tech companies have disrupted everything from e-commerce, like Amazon, to relationships, like Facebook. Speaking at the Fast Company European Innovation Festival, he said, it's increasingly hard to tell where I end and where the computer begins. In the future, it is likely that the smartphone will not be separated from you at all. It may be embedded in your body or brain constantly scanning your biometric data and your emotions. Well, I think that we are going to be connecting more with technology, but there's no way we're ever going to lose a sense of soul. The essence of our humanhood is not about technology at all. It's about our values, our sense of self, our ego, the substrates of what we believe in. And no amount of technology is going to ever replace that. Harari also described a vision of the future, where humans and machines become one, and says it's a reality that's not so far away. Technology companies from Apple to Facebook to Google have created smartphones and an online reality where we already spend most of our time. There's a lot that we get out of the out of the internet and out of computers in general, but they are only as good as the people who are using them. There is an essence, a soul inside of each of us that is never going to be replaceable by anything technological. Harari thinks it is inevitable that we will manipulate humans in profound ways in the years to come. We have already genetically manipulated animals, technologies like IVF, and been able to shape the creation of human life. According to Fast Company, if somehow we are able to merge these technologies with the human body through chips in our brains or bodies, Harari says that this would be the biggest revolution in all of human history. Now, throughout our existence as a species, we have always been able to manipulate our environment and create tools that make our lives better. But until now, we haven't been able to manipulate ourselves. Reporting in New York, Trinity Chavez, RT. So you haven't heard that we're the ones covering the stories that you won't see covered anywhere else? In Venezuela, Kazakhstan, let's go to Hong Kong. And the media reaction to that has been crickets. How about the way we cover those stories? What the hell does that mean? Huawei, Huawei, Huawei. That's the key word in this case, uprising. Keep? Can you believe that? Watching. This is the right thing for members of the media to do, to actually pick sides. Look, if you like what you see, subscribe.